To open the show today, let's go behind the scenes with the cast and crew of the film Pepper Soup, which stars TV star Derry Lee Edun in lead role. It is Edun's first attempt at taking on a full role in a Nollywood movie. Yeah, he has made several cameo appearances, but this is his first big one. Enjoy. I want pepper soup. I want pepper soup. I want it now. Television personality Dean Rilea Dun adds another feather to his cap as he finally receives his first lead role in a movie. The dynamic television presenter and red carpet host played the lead in the mental health advocacy short film Pepper Soup. The money from these guys. Uh, uh, why are you backing my pepper soup with speed? Calm down, guy. Um, if your life is on SOS or if your mumu level is 6G, take it easy with me. Me, my name is Dean I am the one paying you and I am limited edition. I built the hospital I was born in. I am not going anywhere. Those people out there should wait. Lead who would have ever thought that I would play lead? <laughs> okay, I'm always wakapas, 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 wakapas something. A controversial individual himself, getting into character wasn't too much of a challenge, even though he was a movie debutant. That's us. My darling, there is love in Sherry. Just, you know, just, just leave this and show some skin because... Uh, no. I say show skin. Viewers, would you all like to see some skin tonight? Yes, I can hear them sk scream. Let us. Everybody, if you did not even let me put your dress down, you're not falling down now. Say, brace the dress up. You should have braced it. For someone who's been called a madman for as long as I can remember, it's scary that I've not even run mad because the whole the African continent has tagged me the madman of the industry or the weary, the you know, and then all these names just stick. I was playing myself, but also I was immersing myself in another character. The movie receives cameo appearances from many quarters, including television star Lilian Afegbai and radio personality Laoyi Oyatogun. Director Grace Edwin Okon speaks on working with these individuals. Some of these people were cast specifically because we knew what they could do as themselves. So the character type was not totally far from who they are as um, actors. So I mean, it was, I think it was easier allowing them to play themselves than if they had to play other characters. So. Hey, really? Yeah. This is your third place. You should be feeling better by now. Yeah. You need to get on the stage now. <laughs> Manager of life. Ha! Manager of destiny. Ha! You do not understand what I'm going through right now. See, all I need is just one more bowl. This one, after I finish this one, I just need an extra one. Then I will step out and scatter Chris. The thing is that you see, I am really feeling cold. And if I go on stage, I will not deliver the way you want me to deliver. <laughs> Daryl is a clown. <laughs> um, Daryl and I go way back, you know, to modeling days like almost 17, 20 years ago. And um, we've had a very beautiful relationship. We respect each other and um, he respects my craft. So he knows and understands um, the need for him to take my job seriously. So he really studies for, you know, um, for the shoot. Anytime I give him a script and all of that, he actually takes time to study for it. And then when he comes on set, it's easy to actually direct him and tell him, okay, I, I'd like you to do this, I'd like you to do that. And we kind of bounce ideas off each other and we deliver at the end of the day. I built the hospital I was born in. I am not going anywhere. Those people out there should wait. When I decide to go, I will go. Yes. They how, should wait, Joe. How do you expect to pay them if you can't get on stage? To get on the stage? What, what is it? I'm not going on any stage. To get on the stage? Because of what I said, I'm not going anywhere. Leave me. Leave me. The production receives a minor setback when Derelay's attempt at method acting led into a bloody accident, leaving him with a scar on his eyebrow. I remember Grace almost losing her cool, like, hey, I'm sure she was like, hey, Modano, what do I do with this person? Because she was like, no, we have to strike set. And I said, no, Grace, we're not going to strike set. We're going to shoot. This happened. Accidents that happen on set like this mean that the production is going to be a multi-successful one. So we are going to shoot this and I don't care. All we have to do is just look for how to address the matter, make the situation look like it, and leave me to bear the burden of the pain that I'm experiencing. It's a case of depressive disorder with psychotic symptoms. We found nine tetrahydrocannabin oil, nine THC, in his system. Now, this nine THC is the main psychomimetic ingredient. Taking on the Pepper Soup project comes with a peculiar challenge for the young actor 
telling a medical related story with minimal knowledge of medicine. Luckily for her, the film is produced by a medical practitioner, Maimuna Kadri, who provided Grace with the required information. I didn't have to do as much research as as though, you know, like for other content I've worked on where I have to actually take time to research. She had the material and um, I just needed to interpret it creatively and in an entertaining version, um, in an entertaining way so that um, it's easier to sell the message to people because when you start talking about medical, I don't want to call it jargons, but when you start using medical terminologies, people get confused and they don't really know what um, you're saying so we had to break it down i had to do all of that in the scripting and the screenplay i had to break it down to the basic everyday language and make it easy for people to understand so i didn't really have to do so much research but we had to do a lot of back and forth for me to understand and be able to interpret in the script dr kadri embarked on this advocacy project for specific reasons it, our mental health is as important as our physical health. A lot of us are not looking into our mental well-being. A lot of us just want to see blood and they put plaster in it. Mental health in, in illnesses are not just, it's not about seeing it physically and we put plaster in it. They happen to people on a day-to-day -day basis. The World Health Organization has already projected that one out of every four Nigerians will have a mental health-related problem in his lifetime. So. The time is now. We shouldn't sit back, trivialize it, label people or stigmatize those people living with mental illness. They are going through a whole lot. There's a whole lot of burden of care in the family members, which of, of course has a resultant effect in their quality of life. So we should take it very importantly. The way you go to your dentist and check how you, your teeth are doing, the way you go check your car if it has problem, people should actually go check if they are mentally okay. Pepper soup cake. What? Did you buy this?